He goes, three idiots. I'm like, this guy's crazy. <laughs> He's got my vote. In Dolly, we trust. I think if something came out of like Dolly doing something bad, it would have rent end society. Okay, birthday twinsy. What is this, babe? Can you change it to like, so it went from like uh, Jojo Siwa to like Daddy Yankee. Which is fine, I love Daddy Yankee, but those aren't the vibes. Can you put espresso by, okay, turn this up actually. Turn the shit up. Sorry. College sports team, Vanderbilt. <laughs> Maryland's my second favorite, it's my parents. Do you know who this shit is? Do you know who this is? Y'all gotta be bumping this. If you're not bumping the song, then what are you doing? But I will never surrender. But we said never, or Corey said never surrender unless you're in the third, final three. In the final three. <laughs> unless you're on the wall. <laughs> but I this is Bowie it. Jane's new song, y'all. It's called Never Surrender. Stream it. She likes. She wants you to stream the club version. I actually prefer the non-club version. The club version. Is this the non-club? Yes. I like the non-club version. I think so. it's just more Bowie. Uh, We're gonna be hearing this um, on like the next Love Island season. Uh, comps are really hard, yeah. And when you're going against someone like Jag, who's like you're going against good competitors. It's not like like I could beat Suri every time. I could. Me and America would go back and forth. I could beat Blue sometimes, but you know, you got someone who's just bigger, faster, and stronger. It's hard. Did we believe she was a DJ? Yeah. There's no, I never doubted whether she was a DJ or not. Yeah, I mean, they they were saying like she has no rhythm. Like, it's if she's not a DJ, what is she? Because we're like <laughs> looking at her outfits and stuff. Like, that'd be a crazy lie to come in with. I always figured like- Like Bowie's the exact same person outside of the show that she was in the house. I like, figured it was a possibility she's a DJ and something. But I never figured she was lying about being an agent. But I never thought she was a lawyer. Right no, and Bowie made it very clear she's not a, a, a lawyer right now. No, she's a lawyer. No, y'all no, are she wrong. She is a DJ. She is a DJ. She's not a lawyer. She she did like lawyer she, stuff to make the end, make ends meet. Yeah. During COVID, but she's she's a DJ. She was like came up to us afterwards and she's like, I just want to be very clear with you guys that like I'm not a lawyer. I am a DJ full time. I I do have a law degree and I used to do law, but for the last eight years. I've been a DJ, or like she's like ever since I came to the U.S. Yeah, it's for my career. Yeah. Why the heck did you give up your win for Cam in the pressure cooker? It was the right move, and we didn't even realize how. Do you want to talk about that? It was the right move. It was, so basically, it was the right move for America because first of all, it was really hard. <laughs> well, no, first off, I could have beat him. Hello, I, think so. I, think I was so. I was solid. I wasn't I wasn't was, going anywhere. I had a good strategy too, where I wasn't switching my fingers. A lot of people would fall or like trip up because they were switching fingers, switching hands. I was like, I'm gonna fuck up if I start switching hands, right? Because I'm so cold and numb. Um, but yeah, I was like, I'm. Right, right now I'm sort of in the middle-ish. I'm so I don't have to show my cards yet. If I make a the move that I want this early, it would have been like Suri and, and Izzy. And we were hoping Cam would take a shot. And I was yeah, and I wasn't ready for that. And um, and we got. And I was like, okay, best yeah. best case scenario, I I do people who I don't really talk to the safe choice, uh, Red and 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 Bowie. Red would have won the veto. He would have taken himself off, and then I would have been tempted to do Suri or Izzy. Everyone would have been pressuring her to do Cam. But she wouldn't. Would have made a ton of. Enemies. I wouldn't because I was I was like okay with Cam at the Cam time. Cam was good for you. Yeah, and uh, like me and Cam were fine. And then if I would have done that move, it would have been maybe you would have put up like Mimi or someone. I was right I now. was I fucked with Mimi. I wouldn't have done that to Mimi, but especially the, if I promised her in that final three. Like when it was just us in the final three, I was like I'm not putting either of y'all up. And I meant that. Well, the point was, like, even if she made the right move, which at that point probably would have been Izzy and Jared. Anyways, next, you know. the power of invincibility. Yeah, well, that's what so we're talking about. I don't want to talk about this for too long because we talk about it all the time on my subs and shit. But, like, basically, I would have been gone the next week with Jared as HOH. So it was the, the best move for me. And it worked out. Yeah, and it was like, she didn't know that at the time, but it ended up being the best thing. I, said, mm, I don't know about Jen. I don't know the details about Jenna's situation though, so I don't know if I want to take a stance. <laughs> Jenna, you can get through this. 
Okay, uh, last little cherry. I'm not getting drunk off of this at all, babe. Well, they say you need 15 or 20 of them. Oh, really? Yeah. What the fuck am I eating this for? <laughs> it's no reason, around. Sorry. Did you put on your hat? No, you had it on at the beginning. Yeah, for a while. Okay. If I don't, if you guys end. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna end soon because it's getting late and, oh, it's been like 20 minutes. Babe, you don't wanna say bye real quick? Sure. We're gonna go, actually. This is it. Uh, I'm gonna eat this last cherry, hold on. Scooby Doo so bad. So bad. You're gonna okay. the interview. Have fun. We we didn't hold back really. I did a little bit, but it's fine. I just didn't want to say anything super controversial. Anyway, yeah, I gotta clock into Twitter now. See what the damage is. We have our sorry, I just spit out. Uh, our Sharon Tharp interview um, should be up on on the website on her link uh, on, on like Twitter and stuff. Uh, the exclusive pod. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Uh, nine out of ten. 8 out of 10 if anyone's looking to eat their liquor. Uh, bye! Bye. See you on the Patreon. See you on the Patreon slash AmeriCorey. Yep, that's it. Bye-bye.